Hey YouTube, we're back with another video for y'all this evening. <clears throat> okay, we went out after work work today, me and my brother did, to shoot shoot this, and he brought along his nine millimeter pistol, and we uh were shooting it too. He ain't had it long and wanted to shoot it, and we I shot it and he shot it. I like that pistol. I think I want me one. I believe it's a Ruger Security Nine. Anyway, you know, black, we were shooting this too, and you know, black powder is corrosive. We shot it 12, 15 times or so, so <clears throat> it got dirty. Oh, uh, we want, we're trying to test to see how accurate this thing was or was not, but the wind blowing at us kind of ruined it. It was coming at us, it was coming from the left, it was coming from the right, it was coming around the corner, around us, and going back around the corner, all kind of crazy stuff. But, you know, we still had a blast making making loud boom, booms and a lot of smoke. Probably scared every deer off within 10 miles. So, you know, we had fun. Uh, <clears throat> back when I put this thing together, together, you know, I done the video of putting it together and we done a first shots video. I didn't film cleaning it after that because I... You know, I just, I was tired and I was just ready to, ready to go in and call it a day, you know, so I didn't film it. I cleaned it with right within like 20 minutes of us uh, shooting, but anyway, I got noticing some things on the different cleaners you can buy, buy from the store to clean these things, and uh, I noticed something. They all said all natural ingredients, in other words, they're water-based. So I figured there ain't much sense in using that stuff if it's already water-based. <clears throat> so we uh, just used the water. And the, the spot that I didn't clean actually got a little spot of rust. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's, it's there, which I'll make sure that don't exist anymore. Uh, Another thing, the, I guess, breech plug screw here, I didn't even think to take it out and clean that, and yeah, it rusted in. I got it out, but I buggered the screw up, and that kind of hurts my feelings, but, you know, I put all that time and effort into this thing, and money, but anyway, it is what it is, so, you know, <clears throat> yeah, another thing, too, that kept us from testing the accuracy. The sights are off on this thing. I guess I was so hot, excited to shoot this thing for the first time, time I didn't worry much about the sights. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, the other thing I want to say about the ramrod, and every video that I watched on putting these things together, every ramrod out of the box was, was, was uh, a little bit crooked and wavy this one was was a lot worse than it is now but uh, I found something out you don't have to go buy a piece of dowel rod and take all this off and try to make another one just uh, turn it in put it in here and spin it around and wherever you feel it's getting resistance on you when you're spinning it is where you need to leave it and store it. It will straighten itself out due to, you know, humidity and stuff. So, you know, just a little, little tip there for anybody that's wanting to put one of these together. And you don't have to go out and go buy a super, super uh, expensive, uh, you know, fiberglass with titanium, titanium uh, supports in it, you know, for strength and all that. You just, all you need is this piece of wood and, you know, shove it down in there. It's plenty strong enough. You just don't want to, you know, shove it like this because if it does break, you're going to stab yourself in the hand. You just want to, you know, here's your ball starter. Get the ball started and all the way down. Okay, enough of that. All right, uh... <clears throat> This is how, how I clean it. I don't know how y'all do it, but this is my way and it worked. 
A lot of y'all are probably cringing right now. It works, YouTube. It really, really works. And this is going to get messy. That's why we have a towel on the floor. Spin that brush around in the bottom of it down there. Be sure you get it all good and clean. That water that's dripping out of the out of the cap down there is some nasty water. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this water out in this pan behind me. This is not a pan that I cook any food in or use for anything anymore, so it's okay. Let's uh, set this right here. Don't fall over. I'd actually, while we were shooting, I would use the brush and brush this thing out. Keep the barrel kind of clean. That's why that water's not really that nasty. <clears throat> Alright, I like to do this several times, YouTube, just to be sure that I've got everything. So that's what I do. And of course I can use the wrong container. That's okay. I need this need this water for the for the breech plug and the uh, nipple. Almost forgot about that. <clears throat> By the way, that was only about a cup and a half of water, YouTube, so. After all said and done, I'll wipe this thing down with cooking oil to displace any moisture that's left. thing too you do don't hit your ceiling with your cleaning jag by the way i'm only using the brush for this this is, i haven't found that there's any any actual need to use any of the other brushes all righty let's uh go ahead and dump that water in here Set this here. Don't fall. You see, YouTube, the water's quite a lot cleaner now. So, you know, we're, we're doing what we need to do. And I've been told by other YouTube channels that water actually neutralizes, neutralizes the black powder. To stop it from corroding everything. I don't know how, I do not know how true that is or is not, but it seemed to work. So I think the first time I cleaned this gun, I might have had a patch down there on the nipple to you know, keep the water in, but I can see that's not going to be absolutely necessary. Let's 
let's see what we got here. By the way, when we're done, we do dry this thing out. I would I would not be I would not be in the least bit afraid to drink that water, you two. It's clean. There's just a slight brownish to it. I've seen it. I know you. I'm, I know y'all can't see that. But there's just a slight brownish to it. But I've seen well water dirtier than that, and drank well water dirtier than that. So that's that for that. Uh, now we need to go ahead and turn this thing over. Be sure all our all the water's drained out as best we can get it. Set the gun back out of your way where you won't knock it over like I did like seven times trying to film this video. This was, yeah, this is about my seventh attempt to film this video, YouTube, because I kept messing something up. Okay, we'll just uh, run this jet up, um, more brush in there. This is the brush that actually came with came with my cleaning kit. I bought I went and bought a cleaning kit just for this gun because it's you know gonna be exposed to black powder. I didn't want to use any of my other cleaning kits for for this you know to risk of rusting up one of my other guns. That's nice and damp. It's not soaked, but it's damp. Just a well, I forgot to bring a rag over here. That gummy. I always do this right here just to kind of dry that thing off and then <clears throat> dry this bore mop off. And I'll run it right back in there. Spin it around a few times. Back in. Put it back in. Spin it around. Put it back out. I know some people are going to say that the water, water can swell the stock up. Well, that may very well be true, but that stock's, uh, it wasn't there long enough to do anything, so. I ain't worried about it. Besides, by the time I shoot it again, it'll be all uh, it'll uh, be all dried out. This has got a coat of stain on it, and then, I think three or four coats of polyurethane water being on it for that short amount of time, it's not going to soak up enough to do anything that I can see. I may go buy a special jag, a cleaning jag for this. That way, when I'm you know done, I can, well I, my cleaning patches I left them, left them down at the house, but buy one of those jags just so I can uh can uh have a jag to even further dry this barrel out, which the barrels come out pretty dry now, so you know. Dry this jet uh, bore mop off. Let it out. All right. That should be good for that, YouTube. Now we're just going to go ahead and use our ray or towel here because I'm not sure where I put that rag just to wipe off any <clears throat> extra moisture that's on it from me being sloppy and spilling the water.
Another thing that I like to do is, well, I can't do that yet. <clears throat> now we've got to take this screw out, reach plug screw. I, gee, I hope y'all can see that right here. And then we've got to tuck it back and take the nipple out to clean that, which I've already pre-loosened the screw, which is obviously not, not still, there it is. Pre-loosened that screw, but you know, because it's so tight, <clears throat> so we can get that out, get it over in that water, and get a brush on it and clean it. And then we'll uh, get the nipple out and clean it too. Hang on, YouTube. I have really, really, really got to get my shop built. My barn out there, I can't do nothing with it. It's just slammed full of junk. The nipple is out, YouTube, and I just, I paid like, I don't know how much I paid for a nipple wrench, but I went and bought a nipple wrench to do this with, you know, because I don't know why I did, but I did, and I'm glad I did. It makes it a lot easier. water right there. That out of the way. Well, the screw that we magically loosened up has magically tightened itself. Well, too tight for me to uh, get out with my fingers anyway. Alrighty. Now, we'll just, uh, Use our little brush here and that looks plenty clean enough to me, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I don't really have anything to get in there and clean that threaded hole, so you know, oops. But what I was trying to do earlier, well, boy, drop the hammer. Let the gun sit upside down so that everything can, you know, kind of dry out. I see water I missed. Okay. All right, uh, YouTube, hang on a second. <clears throat> All right, YouTube, here's our little tiny pieces that we have to clean. All I'm going to do is... Take a wire brush to it like that. Looks all plenty clean to me. Ow! Wire wire brush has got sharp bristles. I just kind of want to look through there and see if it's clear and this one is now clear don't know if y'all can see that or not but it's it's you're just gonna have to trust me that it's clear i can blow through it and hold it up to the light and see the light coming through it it's clear but I don't trust myself that much, so I'm still going to run a piece of wire through it. Well, I said I was. Like this right here. A little bit of crap coming out of there. Kind of surprising. And I suppose I could burn this off, but we're inside and burning this stuff, burning this plastic off these ties kind of stinks so anyway we know it's clear yeah y'all can okay 
<sighs> Put this someplace where you won't lose it. Granted, I have an extra one. I bought I bought an extra one. I just don't know what I've done with it. This is going to be aggravating on your fingers, cleaning this tiny little screw with these, you know, this brush. But, ah, told you so. All right. That there. I, this, these guns are so simple that I'm not even going to worry with showing a... Uh, Showing a uh, reassembly video because, well, there really wouldn't be that much to a reassembling video. Just putting these screws back in. Plus, these things, if you put together the kit, you should already know how to reassemble it. I mean, if, if you did the kit, you put it together. You know, I always thought that those the hole in that would be a quite a lot quite a bit bigger than it is, but it isn't. Okay, that's clear. Alright, hold on YouTube. I forgot to show y'all show y'all something, YouTube. This is CVA slick breech plug nipple grease. I forgot to show you show you uh me uh putting grease on it. All I'm gonna do is put just a tiny bit on my finger. You don't wanna uh have it blocking your hole. Okay. Our hole still appears to be clear, but we're yep. Still clear we can blow through it. Alright. I don't know if y'all heard that car just that loud old car just go down the road, but I heard it in here. I'm not using enough of this stuff. Well I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know, but anyway. I don't know if I'm using enough or not. But, all right, I, as far as I'm concerned, that's greased. Okay, YouTube, it's all put back together. And uh, if we wanted to, we want if we wanted to, we could take this thing and go shoot it. But it's late at night, so I don't want to scare the crap out of my neighbors. And and you know, we just cleaned it, so. Yeah, last thing, any of this exposed metal, you probably would want to go ahead and wipe it down with some sort of oil just to be sure you didn't, uh, you know, miss anything or whatnot. You don't always need to take the locking all out, but, you know, obviously you do need to oil it once in a while and, you know, that's up to you how you do that. So. All right, YouTube, thank y'all for watching. I would appreciate it if y'all would like, subscribe, and comment. Thank y'all for watching, and good night.